Ntsiki Piela is one of South Africa's iconic winemakers who has forged a path to become a highly respected and admired name in the world of wine. In 2016, she established Aslina Wines, inspired by the strength and determination of her biggest influence, her grandmother. Aslina is renowned for its range of wines and is the realization of Nziki's dream to create an exceptional world-class brand. I think when you're looking at the philosophy of winemaking, every person, they've got their own take in how they do certain things. I love nature. And because I love nature, I believe that it is important to let nature take its course when you do things, other than engineering it, but be the guardian. So we do the production, but we don't do a lot of addition of all these other things that you can add. But you just add the basics and allow the character of the wine and the personality of the wine to express itself. When I look at our wine industry, looking where I come from, I'll look around and there were very few black people in the industry. If I mean very few, that's around the 2000s. And I will go to wine shows when I started working in 2004. You could count the heads that are not white within the space of a wine show where people are coming to taste, talk about wine, enjoy and have fun. Certain wine shows like for me, Soet Wine Festival. There was one show that I remember going there for the first time when it started and realizing what a rainbow nation is because everyone was there. And it was clear that there is progress. I think one, because there were talks about the wines, there were talks about the wine industry. And so people felt, oh, there is something that is different that we can engage ourselves in, that we can taste and consume, or that we can be involved in terms of whether it's business, whether it's employment, um, that we can be in certain levels of work. But it is happening. Things are changing. There are people getting involved at different levels of employment in the wine industry. Uh, there are people getting involved whether starting their businesses in the wine industry. There is hope. If you look at the Western Cape, this is one of the most beautiful provinces. We've got beautiful wines, amazing wines, and we've got Fainbos, we've got the sea, we've got the mountain, we've got so much to show to the world, we've got so much to give to the world. And so with all that, uh, being part of the Great Wine Capitals, it's because of what we can give, and also the Great Wine Capital is there to actually help different um, countries or wine regions interlink, interconnect, and to be able to collaborate. So I think for young people to access the wine industry, um, I think in life, if you do not ask, you're not gonna get. So it is important for young people to go out there and ask. And once, let's say, they've identified they wanna get into the industry, it is important that they do their research to find out what is the industry about and also give themselves to understand that if you want something, you need to work for it. So they need to work to get themselves to that point of being able to be in the industry. But at the same time, the industry needs to avail itself. It is important for the industry to show, have opportunities and have educational uh, information times where they actually avail themselves to the youth to say, we are the wine industry, we are here. You know, you, these are things that you can have. These are, um, are things you can come and do within the industry. So um, it, it's basically a two way. Everyone has to avail and everyone has to be open to that part of education.